Welcome back to the morning show. It is 6.50. You may hear a fan in the background. Don't be alarmed. Jesse Miller's in. We're doing a little firework display that's going to be a little smoky, so we're just getting the smoke out of the studio so, you know, we don't smoke out the place. Have the that's fire right. department come or anything like no, that. No, we wouldn't want that. No, July 4th <laughs> coming around. Everyone interested in fireworks, all that good stuff. That's right. And uh, uh, one of the things, that, this, is, this is kind of a simple one because I can't obviously do very many things in, in, in the studio, right. although this does produce a lot of smoke, as most fireworks do. Um, and I showed this once before as we were, when we were talking about sulfuric acid mm -hmm. as a catalyst, but what uh, I didn't really explain what it was. And what we had was potassium chlorate and sugar. Uh, the sugar is the fuel and potassium chlorate is an oxidizer. These are used in fireworks uh, in uh, fountains and things like that. And I'll show you real quick what this is going to look like. Okay, it flames up pretty pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, and because um, potassium chloride is a is a, a tremendous oxidizer. Okay, now what I've done is I've made that mixture of potassium chloride and sugar, but I've added some metals to it. And we talked before that different metals make different colors. This is how fireworks have colors. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna light this off. They call this a Roman candle. I'm not really sure. It doesn't fire the little balls up them. in there. <laughs> okay. But uh, but it's like a fountain that you would okay. buy at the store. All this is a little bit more sure. intense. All right. And we'll turn the lights down All here. Right. And I'll get the lights you get ready we'll get a good shot of that you tell me when you're ready all right here we go now this is potassium potassium is kind of a purple and this is iron okay copper which is blue okay and Apple. then strontium which is red it will be here in just a second and there we go very cool so the different metals mm -hmm. actually do use strontium for the red and copper for the blue. Okay. The sparks that you see a lot of times in sparklers is either zinc or iron, uh, sometimes aluminum makes these kind of things. Yeah, it's, it's really smoky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, so that's that's a little a little preview of what you might see on Fourth of July, okay. um, and uh, uh, next week when Matt's and I are doing this together, right. he's gonna he's gonna do some explosions, and I'm gonna do some explosions, and together we okay. will explode a lot of things. It's very cool. <laughs> it is smoky in here. So <laughs> Al and uh, Jerry behind the camera are getting some of the smoke, but uh, it's pretty cool how the fireworks uh, work. I mean, a lot really goes into making these colors and the appropriate order and things like that. It, absolutely. The uh, engineering behind uh, just a, a bottle rocket mm -hmm. is is, is uh, well, it's tried and true. You don't really go to classes to learn this stuff, right? right. You know, I mean, it, it, they all they all learn on the job. Um, lot, they employ a lot of chemists, so they understand the chemistry. But uh, a lot of these are real trade secrets. They don't they don't let you in on it. But I am going to show a little bit of how one's made uh, next week when, okay. we, when we do this. I'm going to show the various components. The, black powder and and, and uh, some of the other things on that. Very cool. You know what else goes good with fireworks? Ice cream. Ice cream, absolutely. I'm going to come back and make some ice cream. 30 minutes, liquid nitrogen ice cream makes it just like that. That's right. All right, Jesse, thank you very much. You want to see a replay of this segment and see just how smoky the studio got, go to our <laughs> website, IllinoisHomePage.net. Look on the morning show. Look under Chemist Corner. We'll have more from Jesse in 30 minutes.